So the F1 season kicks off on Friday, and with it, Formula 2. If you haven't watched F2 before, here are six drivers to watch out for. Marcus Armstrong, the 2019 Formula 3 runner-up, had a tough first year in Formula 2, but we think he'll be able to step it up this time around. He looked very fast in pre-season testing, topping the times on the third day for his new team, Dams. The Kiwi is a member of Ferrari Driver Academy, so he'll be out to impress and win a place in F1. Christian Lungard. In 2017, Lungard was signed to the Renault Academy, which is now the Alpine Academy. He wasn't a standout performer in F3 in 2019, but last year in F2 he took two sprint race victories among six podiums. The Dane enters his third year with ART with more confidence than ever. He topped the testing times over the whole three days and put in a lot of laps. Theo Porcher. Theo Porcher may only be 17, but he's already one of the most promising drivers on the F2 grid. He wasn't able to move up to F3 as soon as he might have liked due to his age, but he was only beaten by one man in his first season last year. That marked the first time he'd entered a full season of Formula Racing and wasn't able to clinch the championship. Now he steps up to F2 into the seat besides Lundgaard. His teammate will have to watch his back as the young Frenchman will be looking to cause an upset at ART. Guan Yu Zhu. No Chinese driver has ever raced in F1, but Zhu will be looking to change that record. He spent two years in F2, and his sponsors at Alpine will be scrutinising his every move this year. He did well in his rookie season in F2, finishing 7th, but failed to show much improvement last year, although he was able to take his first win. Oscar Piastri Piastri, much like Porsche, stunned in Formula 3 in 2020. He clinched the title by only 3 points. He'll be driving for Prima, who won every possible F2 and F3 title last year, so he has a good team behind him. In addition to this, he has Alpine backing and was able to get a drive in their F1 car at the young driver's test at the end of the last year. His qualifying has never been great, but he wasn't too far off his teammate in testing. Look out for the young Aussie to make plenty of charges through the field. Robert Schwartzman. After winning the F3 title in 2019, the Russian managed to take four wins in his rookie season last year. This was enough to give him fourth in the championship, the highest award of this year's starters. The Russian has Ferrari backing and has a number of test days at Fiorano under his belt. He was also supposed to get an FP1 drive with Haas at Abu Dhabi, but Vittipaldi needed the extra practice. Schwartzman is perhaps the favourite for the 2021 Formula 2 title. And there you have it, six title contenders for F2 this year. And we won't have to wait long before we see them in action. Make sure to tune into qualifying tomorrow.